I, know, I didn't make this channel to be like that super like powerlifting motivation dude that's like you gotta wake up at 4 a.m you gotta work out for eight hours you gotta go work for another eight hours and you gotta go work out for another six hours get two hours of sleep wake up again do it again the next day if you want to improve it's like no that's not me i'm not that badass i know some people out there i guess are and I never will profess to be like that, but <clears throat> what I kind of wanted to make this about is about improvement and, you know, progression over time when it comes to lifting and the lessons I learned along the way because, you know, let's face it, I'm not the biggest guy in the room, not lifting the heaviest weight in the room or anything, um, but as long as I progress and I get better, that's what that's what I care about. And you know, I think the people that last a long time and keep working out, keep lifting or whatever they do for a long period of time that's not just a fad in their lives, they're the ones that understand that it's not about looking better or looking good. Cause that's a goal you're never gonna attain. You're never going to really look good enough for yourself if that's, if that's what you're in it for. Um, it's not about lifting more weight than other people or whatever. Um, it's about kind of the, the practical and I mean, almost philosophical lessons you learn from doing this stuff. I mean... I think that's kind of why I've been doing it for a while because I can see myself improving and I can see my, you know, my life as a whole improving because of, you know, going into the garage and lifting or gym or wherever I've been in my life, you know? And, uh, I guess that kind of brings me to the point that I wanted to talk about today and that's failure. And I think I don't quite have the most experience when it comes to a lot of the technical stuff out there like I don't I don't know uh, <laughs> you know the best programming to do or the best accessories to do or whatever I you know I've got people that I I shoot an email to I'm like hey like what the fuck am I doing wrong why am I hitting this plateau or whatever so that's not me but when it comes to overarching lessons learned I think one thing that I have done quite a lot is fail and um you know, whether that be injuries or whether that be plateaus like I have now with the bench or any kind of setback. Um, I've had a decent amount of failure and so, and that's a good thing, you know, because I've learned this lesson and the lesson is that you have to learn a lesson from failure. Um, this is, is really that simple because there's a different lesson to be learned each time. Um, and that's kind of, and the useful part of that is that when you go in the garage or you go out for a run or you go to the gym or wherever, you know, you work out every day and you challenge yourself and you push yourself in a different way every day. It doesn't have to be like super high intensity, like feel like you're dead after, but it could just be like just that mental challenge of doing a five by five or a one rep max or whatever, you know, or even just a longer, less intense run or something like that. It's still a challenge. And doing that every day is kind of like forcing yourself into this like rapid fire way of really learning a lot about yourself and how you work um, and what your shortcomings are, especially. And so that's what going in there and failing pinching 270 every week or whatever it is um really teaches you is like damn you know now i know my weakness and i can attack that and then how it works in real life is when i hit those like plateaus and setbacks in real life at this point in time i know to be patient and to keep working at it and find hey maybe what am i missing what's my weakness and what i'm doing and then turn that weakness into a strength and all of a sudden that setback 
you blow right through it and you succeed and you can achieve so much more because of that. <clears throat> I don't know if that's necessarily all because of, you know, going and lifting weights or whatever, but I'm sure it helps. So my little practical advice and hopefully that's enough to, you know, that is, it's, it's enough for me to keep going back and working out every day. And I think it's enough for anyone to go keep doing it any day because, you know, I'm always so disappointed when people are like, oh, I don't think I'm going to work out today. Like, I don't feel like it or I've got all this work to do. And it's like, God damn it. Like, you know what you're missing out on? Like it compounds when you, when you skip it that one time, like it compounds, you're going to be lazier later on. Maybe you'll skip it again tomorrow. I don't know. It's kind of. Maybe it's weird to say it pisses me off when people do that, but it kind of does because I know the negative effect that has, you know, and it's because I've done it before and, uh, yeah, it snowballed for me. So not going to do that shit again, allegedly. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what I got.